previously on Gladden TV. Today, I often wonder what will happen when we have millions of people who need financial and medical assistance. They will be dependent upon their families or the government, sounds like today, for financial support. What will happen when Medicare and Social Security run out of money? How will the nation survive if teaching children about money continues to be left to parents, most of whom will be or already are poor. Damn. Because I feel like, you know, it's too much money here. I mean, nobody should be hitting lotto for 36 million and we got people starving in the streets. That is not idealistic, that's just real. That is just stupid. There's no way Michael Jackson should have, or whoever Jackson, should have a million thousand, drupal billion dollars and then there's people starving. There's no way, there's no way that these people should own planes and their people don't have houses, apartments, shacks, drawers, pants. So, but even if you earned it, you still owe. Because look at me, I'm not, I don't have that mega money, but I feel guilty walking by somebody. I, I got to give them some mail. And if I know I got $3,000 three, $3, in my pocket, I feel like it's wrong to give that person a quarter or a dollar. It's wrong. Only you know what you got in your pocket. And that's wrong. No matter what they do, if they take it and drink it, they take it and drink it. But, I mean, you got. You understand? And we all know how hard it is, and it's not about if you good or you bad. So since it's not about if you good or you bad, we know that because he don't got, don't mean he was bad. Or don't mean he's a criminal, or don't mean he's crazy, or a drug addict, or none of that. It just means he don't got. And ain't it bad that you got 30? I mean, can you imagine somebody having $32 million? 32 32 million dollars and this person has nothing and you can sleep you can still go to the movies about i mean i mean and then these these are the type of people that get humanitarian awards millionaires how can they be humanitarians by the fact that they millionaires and there's so many poor people shows how unhumane they are you know what I'm saying? And that, that bugs me. Not saying that when I'm never going to be rich and I'm never, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying it's a struggle and I think everybody deserves. And I think there's a way to pay these people. I think there is a way. It just takes to be revolutionary. And it takes to, to do something out of the ordinary. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think that if we just said, okay, 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 okay. I got an idea. Can you just keep it to one house? You only need one house. And if you only got two kids, can you just keep it to two rooms? I mean, why well, have 52 rooms and you know there's somebody with no room? It just don't make sense to me. It don't. And then these people celebrate Christmas. They got big trees, huge trees, all the little trimmings. Everybody got gifts and there's somebody starving. Hey, what's up, y'all? So I'm not going to talk y'all ears off. Um, let me get right to it. The most interesting thing that happened in the crypto space this week has to be the PayPal news announcement. And then becoming more involved in the crypto space. The reason why I say more involved is because those that are in the space, that have been in the space for X amount of years, days, months, weeks, know that Coinbase, one of the most respected cryptocurrency exchanges in the world, already allows you to cash out your profits in your with your PayPal account. So that's why I say more involved in the crypto space as far as PayPal. They're also trying to acquire BitGo. Now, BitGo is a highly respected platform that allows, let's just say, a company to take custody of your cryptos. It basically allows you, the user or the buyer, to just sit back and let somebody else worry about your coins, basically, or tokens, you know. But remember, if you don't have the keys, they're not your coins. So put that in mind and although people like you and me we're small fish in this giant pond i was to say pond this giant ocean of whales so people like you we probably won't even use that because we'll never be able to have x amount of whatever the hell we want anyways right but um despite that and all the glory and all the things that happened with uh paypal this week the glory yeah um Michael Jackson cases are being brought up still and being dismissed. 
movies are still being shot on the actual block that I live on. The Lakers won a championship. The Dodgers are trying to get over a 30 plus year hump of winning the World Series. The presidential elections are weeks away. Halloween is like seven days away. The end of the 2020 is almost over. Black Friday, I don't even know if there's gonna be a Black Friday, but all this madness that's going on, man, all of it. We all know the end game. The end game is a cashless society and just a whole new world that we'll be stepping into, you know? But um, despite all that, man, just remember, buy as much as you can for as little as you can. Why? Because you won't always be able to buy these coins at the prices they are today. And remember, what you won't do, the next person will do. And I can guarantee that. Mind you, this is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just trying to give you mm -hmm, a nugget. But uh, I'll end it by saying this. Whether if you're trying to buy a computer, a Birkin bag, some Louis shoes, belts, and a car. I find it strange that people will buy these things, but when it comes to things like, I mean... If you heard somebody say, hey, buy this thing called Ethereum because it's $400. Like, nobody's going to buy that, bro. So imagine all the people that are going to miss out on these cryptocurrencies and the prices they are today. Imagine. I mean, Bitcoin is already at $13,000. And to piggyback on that, we did hit a $400 billion market cap this week. $400 401 billion or something like that that's big we haven't done that in years we've always been stagnant and stuck at 390 plus billion but we're still on our way to that trillion dollar industry slash market cap so i'm excited i'm excited for the weeks to come whether if it's bearish whether if it's bullish bullish being better or bearish depending on what you're looking at maybe you're trying to acquire more coins or tokens but um, that's all I got, man. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.